This animation illustrates the results we obtained when we tested glial cells derived from human embryonic stem cells in a rat model of spinal cord injury. The actual animal data graphically represented here were published in the Journal of Neuroscience in May of 2005. Under anesthesia, animals are given a permanent spinal cord lesion, which causes them to lose control of their hind limbs, trunk muscles, and tail. This weakness is due to the surgical lesion placed under anesthesia in the thoracic portion of the animal's spinal cord, resembling an acute human spinal cord contusion injury. The injury is severe and permanent, and as we look closely within the animal's damaged spinal cord, we can visualize the mechanism of the animal's loss of motor control. Transmission of nerve impulses pass along nerve fibers insulated with myelin, a protein which is made by the glial cells shown here in gray. When the injury occurs, the glial cells die and the myelin insulation is lost, which stops the transmission of nerve impulses at the site of the injury. Our glial cell therapy involves the injection directly into the injured site of new glial progenitor cells made from human embryonic stem cells. The injected cells then turn into mature glial cells that actually replace the myelin insulation, thereby restoring impulse transmission along the nerves. This results in restoration of spinal cord nerve transmission, which leads to durable improvement in the animal's hind limb control, trunk muscle strength, and tail control.